CPU does not have SSE3 supplement deficit. That is a thing that is required to run Apex Legends. And this error is also coming in Apex Legends when I run it. Then this error that uh, it is a unsupported CPU comes on the screen. So we're gonna try and fix this error right now. So there are gonna be a number of methods I'm gonna tell you how to solve this error. So first of all, let's just see the solution number one. You have to run Origin, which is the launcher of Apex Legends, and then you have to go to My Game Library. After coming here, you can see that I only have Apex Legends here. Come here, right click on this game, and then click on Repair, and then it will start repairing the game. Let's just see what the fuck it does. So it is gonna basically verify the game files to see if something is wrong with them. So this process is gonna take some time as you can see here. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the game to verify the files. So after it is repaired, uh, this is the second method to try and fix it. Uh, you have to right click on this and then click on update game because sometimes not updating it will result in some errors. So as you can see that uh, Apex Legends is up to date. Uh, so this is checked up. So this is the third method to fix this game. You have to click on this game. And now here you have to click on the settings button. And here you have to click on game properties. After that, when this window appears, you have to go to advanced launch options. In the command line arguments, you have to type. You can copy this command from the description of this video. And then you have to click on save and these settings will be saved. So this method is practically the last method that you can use to solve this error. Which is that you have to run Apex Legends as administrator. So for doing that you just go to Apex Legend and you have to right click on it. And then you have to go to more and then click on open file location. Now here you have to right click on it again and then click on properties. Now here you have to click on uh, the advanced button and then you have to tick on run as administrator. You have to tick this box and then click OK and then apply, continue and then again OK. So after this your game should be up and running. Now if this video helped you then please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel to get more informational videos, leave a comment down below and thanks for watching the video.